Hey, Corey, you ready, man? This ain't no joke. You gotta get that back bigger, baby. Yeah, baby. Gotta get deep. Intense training requires intense energy. You've heard it, you screamed it, and now you can take it. Yeah, buddy, from Ronnie Coleman. Well, my name is Brian Dobson. I'm the owner and operator of Metroflex GM. We're here in Arlington, Texas. It's the first day we've been below about 100 degrees in several weeks now. Mr. Cyril brought us some good luck coming down to film Ronnie. And uh, Ronnie's had some intense workouts this week, as always. I mean, there's no man who trains harder anywhere. I truly believe that if uh, Ronnie put his mind to it, he could set the all-time record in powerlifting and not only be the greatest bodybuilder of all time, but the greatest powerlifter of all time also. Well, when, I, when Ronnie first walked in here, you know, and he'd never even been in a bodybuilding contest or anything at all. And uh, of course, I'm the kind of person where I see a person's potential. I want to take him as far as they can go. We've had some great bodybuilders here, but no one that could ever compare to Ronnie. I mean, when he first walked in the door, his arms were already over 20 inches. He had a red sweatshirt and sweatpants on, and you could see the veins in his legs through the sweatpants. And when I saw that, it just it just blew me away. And I have to say, I knew he could be Mr. Olympia one day. I didn't know if he would ever get the chance um, with all the other great bodybuilders out there. And just, you know, I don't know how to say the word politics, but I don't know, there's many, many shows that I saw him enter where I thought he should place much, much higher. Um, just had to pay his dues and keep plugging it out. And it certainly did pay off. And my gosh, now I don't see anyone even near him anymore. I think Ryan could be Mr. Olympia until he's 45, 50 years old if he wanted to be. <laughs>
different. I want you to see how many. I can do 585 for which is sixth place on each side. I was only able to get four because it was bouncing when, when I went down and I wasn't expecting that to happen. So we had to drop it, <laughs> regroup, and go for five plates, which is about 495. And I was able to get 10 out of that. I normally do 12 there, but you know, I just did 10 because I went for the six first. As you can play, pretty much see, I train in uh, just a basic gym uh, with a lot of old-fashioned uh, exercises. I don't do any of the, uh, the, the new fancy equipment type stuff. You know, just basic exercises, nothing fancy, uh, real hardcore training uh, with, uh, you know, basically for me, you know, I, I, I train alone because I get a better focus by myself. And, uh, you know, it, 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 training is basically in the heart. So I, I just use whatever I'm comfortable with. I'm comfortable in the hardcore training facility, doing the basic old fashioned exercises with basic movements, uh, not a whole lot of machines and stuff, and, and, and just basic free, uh, free weights freestyle and uh, a lot of hard training, hard intense training.
crazy. Like I've been here, I've been here since '89. Since like Brian made a commitment to me in '89. Of course, when I did the video back in '96, '97, I was here. '97, I was here. Uh, this is 2000. I'm still here. So like Brian made the commitment, you know, for me to be here at the gym. And I think I kind of like owe it to him to make a commitment to stay here at this gym. To me, Brian is kind of like, you know, an angel to me because, you know, I've been working out now for about 25 years. Nobody ever had a, a strong desire, a strong belief in me and my talents. And when I first walked in that door, Brian had told me I could be a world champ. I don't know if you remember his exact words, but when, when he told me that, I think that's what I remember him saying. And, and he stuck, stuck by his uh, belief and his, uh, his feeling toward me. Uh, he's kind of like, you know, like my, my guide and angel. I think God has a purpose for everybody in life, and I think that was Brian and, and mine is to be Miss Olympia. So you know, it's kind of like we got a bond here. So I think we kind of like part of like like a family. That's right. So uh, you know, for the, all the people out there, you know, you know, every, everybody has a purpose in life. You know, life is all about pretty much being happy. You know, I've been here for almost 11, 12 years. It's been the happiest times of my life, and you know, I kind of like hope Brian has been kind of happy with me being here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we kind of like both benefited because I benefit greatly. And that's what life is best all about, you know, being happy and doing the thing that you want to do. You know, and I think, you know, by Brian making his commitment toward me and me mine, making mine towards him, I think we kind of like made a pact together. So, you know, I didn't do this thing all by myself. I had some help. And right here, my angel, wow. Brian Dobson. Yeah, buddy, let's do this.